Hey guys, on today's episode, we're gonna try to make a keto version of a kasha puri, which is basically a cheesy eggy bread that tastes freaking bomb. So if you wanna see how a Reddit recipe helped me make this, then keep on watching. I'm really passionate of discovering new ways of eating keto, so if you'd want to see more stuff like that, just click that subscribe button right now. So the first step is making the bread, which is done by using mozzarella, cream cheese, eggs, baking powder, and Splenda. Splenda is definitely not the best alternative sweetener to use, but I had some on hand and the recipe asked for it, and I really wanted to make it as close to the picture as possible, so I didn't want to try different things and get a different result. I will note that adding the baking powder to the dough mixture did make the dough puff up and I think even cook the egg just a bit. Which I know isn't a good thing, but oh well. I did add a little bit of flour to it just to make it a little bit more firmer. And yes, that's me being a little bit of a chef. Look at me. Ooh. So this recipe is actually gives you four um, bread bites. So I'm only going to show you two different kinds that I made because I watched the video on YouTube and they had um, two ways to go about it. One thing I did learn was to not roll out the dough too thin because I do have to eventually peel it off and if it's too thin it won't I guess create a bolt thick enough to hold all the cheese. doing the boat is by like basically pulling up the sides and literally just creating a boat and then pinching it at the end so the recipe asks for farmer's cheese and feta cheese i didn't get farmer's cheese so i'm just doubling it with them with mozzarella but the feta cheese you have to make sure not to get the crumble time get the one that you can like basically grate yourself So the recipe definitely gave me more cheese than I think I was going to use for the boat. So I tried stuffing them with as much cheese as possible. So the other method of creating the boat is by flattening out. This time, instead of rolling it up, we're gonna put the cheese and then we're gonna kind of like fold it like a burrito and then we're gonna try to flip it. This was a pain in the butt because it required you to actually lift it up and it was so sticky and you had to try to make sure you don't break it so that the cheese falls out. Next, you have to slice it open and then basically peel it out from there. And I think it actually looks nicer that way and it actually looks like it's holding everything in like a real boat. Go 
put it in the oven for eight minutes till it gets nice and bubbly. So the second part, I'm actually using a different batch of kachapuris that I made because I didn't record it, um, me putting the yolk the first time around. And that's some good yolk point that deserves to be used. So this is the result of the other ones after I had put the yolk in. And now I just have to pop in the oven to get cooked. And this is then cooked. So the recipe says you can add red pepper or uh, parsley. I added parsley and a little stick of butter on each one just to give it that final look that you see in all the pictures. And this is it. This is my final product. I'm mad that the yolks are not like beautiful, but whatever. Alright, so the way you're supposed to eat it is like you're supposed to mix the innards in and get the bread and like dip it in. Um, like so. And needless to say it was bomb. I freaking loved it. I ate all of it. I was actually filled up by halfway, but I kept going because, you know, it deserves to be eaten on camera. I almost gave up there, but I didn't. I would definitely make this again because it was delicious. To make the bread, you're gonna need two and a half cups of mozzarella, two ounces of cream cheese, microwave it, one and a half cups of almond flour, two eggs, one tablespoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of Splenda. Knead into the dough is formed, combine filling, cut into four pieces, flatten out, roll into a boat shape, pinch ends together, fill in with cheese, add egg wash, bake for eight to 10 minutes, add eggs to center the boat, cook for five more minutes, and then garnish with parsley or hot pepper and add butter. And enjoy.